Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today's project is this one and it's an enormous love heart bag. It's big heart bag, I'm calling it, because it's got the beautiful hearts from the Pop of Pink Designer Series paper and it's speciality paper, but I love it. It's huge. Not Valentine's Day, but you know what? Doesn't matter. So a whopper box. We're going to make this, do all of the heating boss and we're going to do everything. Right, let me put that out to one side because it's huge and I need to find some space. Can't find any space, right piece of paper that measures six by six now the the pop of pink paper the hearts are um well i wanted all three colors i wanted the red uh, the pink the white and the black and i said i was going to do triangles with this one so a full sheet of paper 12 by 12 30 by 30 centimeters on the first side score it at two and seven eighths of an inch five and three quarters eight and five eighths and eleven and a half inches don't worry about writing anything down it's all over on my blog click open the description bar you'll see a button there and in metric 7 14 21 28 much easier and then on whatever you're deciding is the bottom i want my triangles facing down score it again at two and seven eighths of an inch which is seven centimeters love an easy big bag right squeaky chair today Okay, so burnish all your score lines, and we've only got one score line at the bottom, so that's quite easy to work with, you don't have to double up on that. This paper is lush, I haven't used it anywhere near enough, and I kind of wish I had now. Um, so yeah, a lot of fun, and it's got the gold, uh, the, the two speciality sheets have got gold on them. So I've got my little hint of gold going on with my heat embossing and a fine to clip. So there we go. So that's everything scored. So this is the bottom of the box. So we've got four squares there and a long skinny bit. So we'll get rid of the skinny bit. And then cut straight up the other score lines. When I've done it, I will hover it so you can see. There we go, so that's the top, it's all intact at the top and then down at the bottom I've taken away one bit and separated all of these. So run some adhesive down here, I like my fast fuse for this. I seem to be able to control it a little bit better, she says as she completely wibbles it. At least it's movable. Let's try that again. It's because I'm doing white on white. There we go, this is where you use your adhesive remover, so. Look at that, you'd never know I'd wibbled. Right, so. This is the back of the box, so fold in um, two sides and back and then run some adhesive here. Now you could do a cardstock version of this, but if you're going to do that, you would need to put and then pinch it shut you'd need to put some score lines in there to get it going first but because this is a paper bag it's actually quite nice that you don't have to do that but just run your fingers either side as you're pinching up at the top run your fingers either side and it will just flow down smoothly obviously if you've got something quite fat in there it will stop at the point of resistance so I'm going to grab my binder clips, just one in gold, so that is the bag made, so now it's just about decorating, so what I've got here, I've got a piece of uh, wisp white cardstock that's two by five, so five by twelve and a half centimetres, and another one that's one by three and a half, so two and a half by eight centimetres, this one I'm going to do my heat embossing on. And do I have a bit of scrap paper? Probably not. Okay. So I've got my embossing buddy just to dust off the static. And then I've got this stamp set here, Perpetual Birthday Calendar. I want hearts. We're gonna, gonna go on a full heart thing going on here. Let's grab my paper block. And my verse mark. I probably need a bit of scrap paper, which I don't have, so I'm going to use my notes. <laughs> I 
Okay. So just get random hearts all over it and you kind of have to move yourself around so that you can get the light and you can see where you've put your hearts. I can see this, you probably can't. No, you'll see it better when I've got the gold powder on. But I'm just going ever so slightly off the edges so that my hearts are all over the place. And then I've got gold embossing powder. It is the bling fest today. You'll see it now when I put this over it. Because the Versa mark is all nice and sticky, it just the powder sticks to it and then it will heat up and melt. There we go, fabulous. So let's put that down and get this back in and then I can read my notes. <laughs> Right, I've got my heat gun, so if you've got me on full volume, turn it down for now, and I will chatter across it. And it's very powdery at the moment, and it will go all glossy and shiny when it gets to temperature. There you go, can you see it in the bottom corner? We're going shiny, beautiful, I love this. It's like alchemy. I want to do this without burning my fingers. It's ever so hot. Don't let children do heat embossing without yourself around. I'll tell you a funny story in a second about my eight-year-old son and my heat gun. There we go. So that is all beautifully shiny. Um, and I've got my scallop tag top punch. So I'm going to punch at the top. So yeah, my heat embossing gun. <laughs> I leave my stamping mist and uh, stamping scrub out all of the time. It's always out on my desk and my son came along and he saw that it was wet. So he got what he thought was a hairdryer and decided to dry it. And oh, that's the wrong punch. And um, yeah, melted a hole in it. <laughs> he won't be making that mistake again. So I've just rounded off the corners there. That's so cute, isn't it? Right. A bit more stamping going on so I've got melon mambo and I've got um, places you'll go I love this set and I need a little scrap of wine let me see if I've got a scrap handy not exactly a scrap that is for my sentiment that's going to go for my hearts that are going to grow across the front but I want to get this bit home is wherever I'm with you on so Oh, I think I need to put my blocks through the dishwasher. Oh, I need that out still. Oh, oops. Put a tiny little block. So I'm taking the heart from this stamp set as well. And I'm going to stamp all over this. Well, on the right and the left anyway. This heart is really sweet because it's tiny and it's perfect. And I reckon this is kind of one of those bags that, you know, if you've got somebody going in your family who's going off traveling and you want to give them a little something to take away with them, this is great. See, look, I haven't done the middle because I'm going to cover that up because I've got more punches. It's a bit of a punch fest today. One and three eighths of an inch circle to go around home is wherever I'm with you just fits in, tiny little bit missing, and then a piece of Melamambo with the next size up punch which is the one and a half inch circle, whoops, move all these out of the way and I can start layering it up, so, what's my snail, oh it's in front of me, so snail on there, 
I mention along the back of there, somebody's at the door, but it's okay. My husband is here. He's going to answer the door. And then I'm going to flagtail the end. So, and just shutting the door. <laughs> right. Let's finish this off. So I've got this lovely ribbon here. Melon Mambo. It's a whole big Melon Mambo thing. So, and then up there. Let's get that going. Oh, the cat's just opened the door. I shut the door. There's people chattering away in the background. Oh, there we go. And then Dimensional across there, and there, and up there, and I'm, then I can hang that on my bag to finish. Oh, and then we can finish it off there, and noisy people can stop talking. <laughs> oh, I don't want to have to refilm. So you're getting it with my neighbours and all. Anyway, I hope you like it. Thank you so much for joining me and hope to speak to you soon. Bye.